Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. Um, I wasn't going to post it and actually initially I wasn't even going to film but Aaron said, you know, stick the GoPro on, we'll see how the day goes and um, it ended up being a fantastic day of fishing. So I went through the footage, got a little bit of a video for you guys uh, but essentially in this video, this video was filmed in the beginning of May uh, back when uh, Zone 20 uh, was open for early season catch and release. So catch, unhook, immediate release, no weighing, you can't put them in the live well, um, can't take photos or anything like that. So that's why I wasn't going to film because it is a little bit more difficult to film a fishing vlog or, or fishing episode for you guys if it's if I, if I can't you know show you the guys the fish but like I said I had the GoPro on the boat and um, it turned out being a fantastic day of fishing um, you guys will see but I like this was one of my biggest um, bags of smallmouth personally that I've caught my top five um, you know, I've hit over 30 with a couple of friends, but this bag was probably, you know, 28, 29, maybe 30 pounds. Again, we didn't weigh them. Um, I have held a bunch of, you know, high fives, low sixes before. Uh, this is definitely up in those high high 20s for sure. So uh, you guys will see here. And the best part is we caught them um, in such a fun way. They were pre-spawn, uh, roaming around rock and sand and really, really aggressive. So um, it was a lot of fun. So without further ado, here's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. It sinks. <laughs> <laughs> There's it swimming to the bottom with your bait. No, he came and ate it. I saw him. <sighs> the legit six pounds. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On the jerky bait. That's fun. <laughs> Craziness. These are all like another five pounder. Yeah. That's so heavy. <laughs> it's so heavy. Dude, they're killing this jerk bait. Killing it. Killing it. Oh! 
course. So fucking sick. <laughs> on the on the pause. Things. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus Still running? <laughs> I'm not like. Very there he goes. That's okay. That's okay. Bye. <laughs> it's a big boy. I don't want that side if you want. Uh oh. Uh oh. You might have a motor. There we go. That is probably oh, six So big. Like all of my three, even the one I didn't land, are all over five pounds. There you go. There you go. GoPro, it would be nice if this GoPro decided to sit put. <laughs> oh, this is fun. We got it out. Always carry a good set of wire cutters with you. These will go through like pike hooks. So took the bait off, we split the hook, I pushed the barb through my skin, and I cut the barb off and pulled it right back out. So that was very fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
stuff. Like, these have to be five and a half. That was pushing Six, six. yeah. Oh. Shimano. Jerk bait right there. <laughs> Six all day, bro. Oh. All day. <laughs> There's my thirty pounds. We're almost thirty at least. Probably pretty. All right, guys, that is my fifth big bass. We've caught a bunch today, but uh, that's my fifth, like over five and a half, over five, over five and a half. That one's probably six pounds. Um, it is catch and release, so we're not weighing them, but I've called enough of high fives and low sixes to know what a six is, and that was definitely a six. That was a tub, an absolute tub. So my top five is probably Know, probably 29 pounds, 30 yeah. pounds. High 20s, maybe 30 pounds. That one came off a little knee shine. This one dives a little bit heavier, it actually sinks. It dives a little bit heavier than that Shimano one. I'm fishing um, about 12 feet right now, so that's why I put this one on and uh, got it done. So, so crazy. This is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> High five, close to six. This time on the uh, world minnow. Big? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, that's probably six and a half. Right there. Yeah, that's a big one. She's full. Okay. Yeah. Back in the water. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's a big, big fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she was heavy. <laughs> that was probably a six and a half. <sighs> Big girls are up here, that's for sure. That was a big fish. It sucks that it's, you know, catch and release, like catch and immediate release. We can't really like film for you guys or weigh them or take cool photos or anything like that, but um, got the GoPro rolling. <laughs> There's some big fish around here in, uh, in Lake Ontario <laughs> and they're feeding. All right guys, the wind picked up as you guys can see. So we're gonna head home. Um, Lake Ontario can get pretty gnarly when it gets windy and I don't want to get stuck out here. So um, that's a wrap for our day. 
uh, a lot of big fish today. My five biggest fish today uh, probably went for one of my biggest bags I ever caught. Um, Aaron got a really good one there at the end too. Um, but yeah, a lot of big fish. It was a lot of fun. I want to quickly show you guys what we used uh, to get them uh, while they're up here, aggressive, pre-spawn, and um, just kind of roaming the rocks and the flats and the sand. So first off, Aaron pretty much threw this mostly all day. This is just a Nishine Chippewa DD in a cray crayfish color, crawfish color. Nice red color right there. Um, Shimano Zodius 72 medium heavy glass rod and a Shimano Karo DC right there. A DC for <laughs> wind like this is absolutely great. Um, still bomb casts right into the wind as long as you set it up right and that's the line we're actually rocking that uh new shimano mastiff fc uh, i spooled up a couple of my reels with it so far so good um yeah i mean we'll give it a couple more days in on the water before we have a final verdict or anything like that but so far um really nice supple doesn't have a lot of stretch and uh as you guys can see can handle some big small mouth and what I pretty much threw all day were jerk baits because I never throw jerk baits. So I was like, okay, this is the perfect time, perfect situation to throw jerk baits. Let's do it. Uh, I started off with the Nee Shine Erie uh, Darter, I believe it's called, Erie 115. Um, this one sinks. So when we started off a little bit deeper, this is what I was fishing with. Still switched between the two pretty much throughout the whole day, but got a couple of really good fish on this one. And as you guys can see, this one was in my hand for a little bit, but uh, the Shimano World Minnow suspends, uh, so we fished it a little bit shallower. Uh, Shimano SLX XT on there, love this reel. Got some 10 pound Mastiff right there, and this is the set, uh, 610 X Pride jerkbait rod. Such a sweet setup, very, very light. The XT loves to cast these jerkbaits. Um, so, yeah, overall, really fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.